My name is Jackie O'Reilly. I am professor at the University of Sussex Business School and co-director of the new ESRC Research Centre on Digital Futures at Work, together with my colleagues in Leeds, Mark Stewart, and together with a team of partners from Aberdeen, uh, Cambridge, Manchester and Monash in Australia. A key aim of the centre is to explore contemporary developments in the world of work, particularly the impact of digitalisation on work and how work is changing. This is a very pertinent debate at the moment. There's a lot of academic and also policy interest in how technology is changing the world of work. But far too much of this debate is based on speculation and hype and perhaps extreme visions of what may happen in the future, be that radical job loss or potentially the reverse. Um, so a key aim of this centre is to provide a solid empirical base uh, and also to develop some the theoretical ideas around the connected worker and what it means to be a connected and also potentially a disconnected worker in the new world of work. So the aim of the centre is really to provide ourselves with this very in-depth and broad far-reaching knowledge drawing on work for some of our expert researchers as well as in collaboration with some of the many businesses that want to partake in uh, the research we're going to conduct. The key issues that the centre will examine will look at um, the concepts of connectedness, uh, they will look empirically at legal regulation and how changing forms of employment are emerging, they'll interrogate existing secondary data, we will also generate a new employer's survey, we will have a series of longitudinal case studies in different sectors and that includes cultural industries, retail, business services and public services, looking at how people get jobs or how the health system works in relation to the development of some of these technologies. Um, and we will also be looking at new forms of self-employment and employee voice. How are these being expressed on new types of platforms and how effective is that happening? So in terms of the employer survey, we're looking to do a large survey of, of employers, a nationally representative survey, that will really interrogate the reasons and motivations for why employers introduce technology and also how they use it and what the outcomes of this are for businesses. In terms of the work on new representation and voice, this builds on some recent work we've been doing for the European Parliament, which looks at social protection in the platform economy. So when we talk about uh, the platform economy or platform work, we're looking at the way in which technology is really reshaping the way in which people access work and the way in which people do work. So at one level, even within established companies, the way in which work is organised is increasingly through online forms of mediation. Our workers can log on to an internal server and work out what teams they're working in, what types of work they're doing. But also researchers are looking at uh, platforms that may arrive from the outsourcing of work from main companies and this is more of a global economy. Um, so workers would use sites like Amazon Mechanical Turk, although there are more highly skilled types of jobs as well and workers would use this to search for jobs. There are jobs advertised on these sites. Workers search for these jobs, often bid for them, and then undertake work, which could be a project work or it could be very short-term work. Human intelligence tasks can often be a matter of seconds and you get just a few cents. Uh, you're self-employed, you have no social protections, so there's a big debate over the terms and conditions of these types of workers. We, in addition to the research, we will also have three important pillars of the centre are, first of all, a data observatory to bring together this extensive uh, body of knowledge. Secondly, we have a very strong support for early career researchers. And thirdly, we will have an innovation fund that will allow us to uh, invite different types of people or fund small catalyst projects that will allow us to explore new areas. So one of the aspirations of Digit is to really act as a focal point for those interested in researching digital technologies and the future of work. And to support the research community in this endeavour, we are going to establish a data observatory, which essentially will act as a repository that uh, external researchers can access to get up-to-date data on all things related to digital and the future of work. So for these reasons, it's going to be an absolutely fantastic opportunity to really understand what's happening 
and to what extent we can steer or guide this in an occlusive way. Mm -hmm.